Well, shout out to Oni for making a dope video like that. Literally, I got suggested it. It kept suggesting it to me, and I got resuggested it today, which is why I'm doing this. So, master shout out to Oni. The Dokkan community is probably looking for stuff like that. That's yeah. That's how you. That's how you make uh, good content in an established niche for sure. So, shout out to you. Nanogenix has been doing Dokkan battle content for as long as I can remember. Eventually, becoming one of the biggest YouTubers in the Dokkan battle community. And to my surprise, just yesterday, Nanogenix was reacting to one of my videos that I made a couple months ago, and I just really thought it was cool. So, I just wanted. To to make a video about it. I'm showing you guys some of those clips. So with all that said, enjoy. Do you guys remember when Critical talked about truth? Do you guys remember that? Well, there was a video that a creator named Oni did where I haven't watched it yet, but I'm guessing they did it. It was almost kind of like a commentary, like a video essay type thing. I never actually watched, I saw like clips of it on Twitter, but I never watched Critical and what he had to say about truth. So I just wanted to see what this was. Um, and this is one of the, this is a video that I got suggested this morning. I was like, okay, I'm gonna stream at some point today, I think. And we are going to react to that and uh, see what see what it was about. Let's see what, uh, let's see what Oni has to say. Let's see what was going on with Moist Critical and truth. Was that my room? The truth <laughs> what? Why is he in my room? What? When was this? I don't remember truth being in my room. ET's journey on YouTube is a testament to the power of dedication and passion. Over the span of 11 years, he's carved out a niche for himself in the Dokkan community, infusing it with his unique energy and personality. Oh, damn, we know that clip. Level one, dude. Rank one and global. So he really did start. I, he and I have talked about this before. He really did start on this banner. Hello. All right, guys. We are back for another Dokkan battle video. Guys! <laughs> okay. Like, Wait, what video was that? Hey, look, I'm in the video. That's amazing. Yeah! Oh, this is the one with uh, this is the one with D Free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But with a genuine connection, he forged with his audience. But if you've been on YouTube for any amount of time, using that clip, by the way, is so crazy because that is one. Hundred, hang on, <laughs> hang on. That has got to be the clip I'm thinking about, right? That's the clip, right? So join me on today's iteration of Dokkan Archives as we go Dude, over. seeing these two talk side by side is like in such a weird feeling. History, at least to me. The truth. DT has spent well over five hundred grand on Dokkan Battle. As we discussed on October 29th. Do we know? Do we know that? Do we know that he spent half, half a mil? I don't think he's probably spent half a mil. I don't know. Nope, it's more. I just, I just don't think. I don't know, man. I did the math on me one day, and it was not anywhere near as much as I've seen some people throw numbers around. So I'm like, hang on, let's just do some math. Okay, so calculator. This is fairly easy. Let's take five hundred thousand dollars. Okay, so five hundred grand. Let's divide that by forty four ninety nine. All right. That comes out to 11,113 packs, okay? Then we're gonna times that by 90. Okay, so that would be roughly a million 222 dragon stones. I don't think so. Just TM Truth and ask him. I mean, I could. That makes this far less interesting. I don't think he spent a million dragon stones. I could, I could get behind probably half a million. Charlie's like not super obviously in depth into like our community. And obviously that wouldn't even remotely understand that e e even if somehow truth has spent half a million which again i at least at that time in 2022 i mean this would be pre eighth anniversary pre ninth anniversary um this would have been what just literally following worldwide god worldwide 2022 was so good that was the cooler worldwide probably the best worldwide in my opinion um i'm also very biased i love cooler anyway he, he wouldn't he wouldn't he didn't probably take into account i'm sure like him doing like his stream thing he wouldn't sit there and think to go like okay so he's been doing this for years and then so you split that up and it could still potentially make sense i mean he started this in 2015 so that'd be about 100 grand a year spent but then if you did let's say he did only make 12 let's see what is that 12 times that's just it's literally gonna be 144,000. he would still technically be in the positive technically yeah so i yeah the couple of things here to take away from this Charlie obviously a doesn't realize that we are that truth has been doing this for literal multiple years. Also, shout out to Oni um, for making a dope video like that. 
literally i got suggested it it kept suggesting it to me and i got resuggested it today which is why i'm doing this so master shout out to oni i think that truly not to like go into a whole like side bridge story thing here but truly i think that a lot of the dokkan community is very very much so still active they're just itching for different types of content and like things like showcases things like summons the stuff we've seen for years like unless you are already semi-established like to really stand out you want to make stuff like that and you had all the key factors that would push the video like that to do well i got suggested it because i watched truth videos a hundred percent right and so i think like the dokkan community is probably looking for stuff like that so yeah that, that's why that's why i did well and it was really well produced you did really good you didn't waste time it wasn't like you were trying to hit 10 minutes for any reason you utilized time correctly so yeah shout out to you for real real talk um that's yeah that's how you that's how you make uh, good content in an established niche for sure so shout out to you this is honestly such an amazing experience and never in a million years that i think i'd ever get to the point where my video was reached by some of these bigger youtubers uh i was in chat while this was all happening and i saw people like diddy sauce react to it and in chat and it was just like it was really honestly just so crazy so i don't think i'd be here without you guys you guys have been flooding the channel with support recently and just genuinely making me feel so much more confident in my ability to make content. So without you guys, I'm nothing. I just wanted to say like, it was amazing having this happen. Uh, thank you Nanogenics for the reaction and the kind words. Even though I feel like this is one of my weaker videos, I still really appreciate it. And I'm happy you enjoyed and I'm, I'm happy you guys enjoyed because obviously you did. Otherwise that video would not have done nearly as well as it did. So thank you all so much. I really appreciate every single last one of you it has meant the world to me how far this channel has come it, it, it's blown my mind so thank you all i love you guys strive to be better people every single day and i will see you all in the next one